Damn. I'm okay. Damn. I'm okay. Yeah, no, I mean, yes. I'm okay. The legal gambleizing. Oh, baby. I am Chris Sims. I'm okay. Damn. I'm okay. Damn okay to my Detroit Lions. Damn okay is right. Damn okay to Jared Goff. Damn okay, Jared Goff. 330 yards, three touchdowns, nine for 11 with 76 yards on third down, so making the crucial plays when they mattered the most. Uh, Goff said last week, quote, I feel like I am playing the best football of my career right now. Right. And it was on this podcast. I've been saying that you, yeah, for he, a few weeks now. He just, Chris Sims told me this, and I think it's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I said on this podcast last week, I go, for the first time, I'm feeling like emotionally there. Like I've brought my mind to the fact that Jared Goff is going to be our quarterback next year. And maybe that's not the worst thing ever. Uh, and maybe those two first round picks we get next year, one from the Rams, one that is ours, that's getting worse by the day, which yeah. is okay with me, uh, should go to defense yeah. and not, not the quarterback. And, Go and Goff did it again against a Vikings defense that really has not shut down many people. No. But it's not like the Lions haven't been doing this to everyone. No, it doesn't matter. You're right. I mean, it, it, and the big thing is got the win. I mean, the Vikings, yeah, they've looked like this a lot of weeks where teams tear them up and somehow they they come away with the victory but third downs and then you guys scored touchdowns on them you know, that, that's I think the things you look at they're usually kind of good on th uh, not good on third but okay on third seem to be good in situational football but more in the wait you drove down the field and now it's gonna be hard to score a touchdown on us and you guys have Ben Johnson's awesome Goff, I'm fourth week in a row. I'm saying it's the best play of his career. You know, they make you defend every part of the football field, let alone they got the talent to go along with it. So when you got all of that, you just start to go, shit, what do you stop? The run game's legit. And they always find a few little creative runs too to you know sprinkle in there a little bit. And then the pass game, I mean, they just do a little bit of everything on offense. And they don't look to throw for four yard completions they and when they drop back i mean i mean am i am i wrong it's like they look for it's we're looking for 10 we're looking for 15 we're looking for 25 and they put tremendous pressure on you that way and then yes he's pulling the trigger and putting the ball in spots that i've never seen him do till this year so i'm with you i he might be the quarterback of your future and it's good to see i'm really i'm really happy for jared goff that he's turned the corner and i think he is showing that he's a, a starting nfl quarterback for sure that always was your big criticism of jared goff yeah he, he's just the offenses were tailored sean McVay. it's like these short passes maybe he doesn't have the ability to stretch a defense yeah. down the field he is throwing for his best yards per attempt and passer rating since the 2018 super bowl year right. with the rams trist and shout says hey chris and Ahmed, love the pod and more importantly love our lives Lions. There we go, Tristan Shout. Uh, who gets the credit for Goff's surge over the past two months? Play calling, talent around him, Goff himself, or is it something else? Your number 30 quarterback going into the season has been out to prove you wrong. Yes, he has. He definitely has. I think, um, well, one, we got to give it to Goff first. I mean, he deserves the credit. He's the one out there playing, doing it the right way. What I do feel, and I think I've said this to you a little bit, is just that I feel like they've done a good job in – you know, massaging him a little bit, you know, slowly bringing his confidence up, slowly like, hey, you got to make this throw here. This is this. You got to throw it. It's, it's a little tight. I know. But you, I feel like they've pushed him a little bit, a little bit of the hot poker. And he was backed into a corner that way. And I think, you know, saw the writing on the wall a little bit to go like, wait, I, if I don't start playing better. They're, I'm out of here and I'm not going to be a starting quarterback. So I'm going to give him the credit. But then I think you get into the play calling. The offense, as I said, aggressive, but it really ties together nicely, too. That's the other thing, too. They have great play action passes off of their runs. And then I think when you add on the offense and what they do there, yeah, the talent, it's, it's good. I mean, O-line's damn good. Running backs are real good. Receivers with a healthy Jamison Williams for the first time we saw yesterday, you start to go – Good luck matching up against DJ Chark and a healthy Jamison Williams and Amara St. Brown. They're going to run by anybody in football. So, I, you know, it's a really a combination of all. And, uh, you know, much respect to Ben Johnson, the OC, and, and Dan Campbell, the head coach. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.